Hello and welcome sumo fans to another edition of the sumo news. The May Basho is just around the corner. The Banzu K will be out in a few days, so remember to look out for our video taking you through that when it's released. First up in the news today, 2022 has been a real year for retirements and it's far from over yet. Former jury man Saki Kage had his retirement ceremony this week with some heavyweights turning up for a snip at his hair, like ex-Yokozuna's Hakuho, Kakaru and Kisena Sato with Shibata Yama of course finishing the job. Good luck to him in his future. No luck for Kagayaki as the May Basho approaches as he and Hanakago Oyakata, who also belongs to Takadagawa Bear, have contracted the COVID-19 virus. When more comes out on that, we will be sure to update you all. Our next story is some fun news that I thought worth a mention due to who it's about. It seems legendary Yokozuna Chiona Fuji, aka The Wolf, has been trending on Twitter this week. Someone didn't know who he was, but saved his photo. I think we all know the reason why, eh? But she posted it to her Twitter asking who this sumo wrestler was and got a response from one of his daughters, model Kazui Akimoto. That's my father, thank you, she said. And that has sparked a response from sumo fans who took to Twitter to post old pictures of the wolf. And I have to say, I love that his flame remains lit, as he was and as still is an absolute legend and should be remembered as such. Over at Takasago Bear, a young man we have had our eye on a while and suggest you all do as well. His name is Ishizaki and he is becoming stronger all the time being helped with training recently by former Ozeki Asanayama and is looking very powerful, furiously pushing forward against a larger and more experienced man able to block Asanayama's powerful left hand while at it, clearly making huge strides in his training. We will see his star rise soon, mark my words. Up next, Sekiwaki Wakatakakage wants to honour his grandfather Wakabayama by taking on his Shikona when he finally reaches Ozeki. Both of his brothers are all for it and Waka is back at training in preparation for May's Basho. If he keeps doing what he's doing, I see no reason why he can't make it to the rank by the end of this year. Ajigawa Oyakata, aka Uncle Sumo, posted some pictures of the Tsuna construction the Tsuna Uchi, which apparently only takes an hour each time. Hopefully Yokozuna Terunofuji's niggles and health is okay for this May Basho. Ajigawa stated in an interview that the Yokozuna is back to facing salaried level stablemates, taking it day by day and is working hard to make sure he is in the title race, as he failed to take any of the last couple of Yusho, so he will be entering May with extra determination. We hope to see him back strong, especially with all these hungry rikishi on their way up. It's set to be another great one, guys. You can practically hear the stomachs rumble with the hunger for more. I love it. It's so great to see all these small guys staking their claims these days more and more. As Ajigawa also posted a great picture of Midori Fuji, who I mention as it seems he is set to be back in Makauchi for this May's Basho as well. Come on. And finally, while we are on returns to Makauchi, Oho managed enough to see himself return to the top division as well and was gifted a new Akita Namahagi Kesho Mawashi for his efforts by local Akita financers. Hopefully this time out can go better for him as being the grandson of legendary Yokozuna Taiho cannot be an easy pressure on his mind. That's a big shadow to be under. And that's it for this little episode of the Sumo News. All links to articles and news in the description box, along with links to our social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more or keep up to date with all of World of Sumo's content, then here is how you do that. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Owatanagi!